Good evening. You guys were paying attention earlier in the show. And by the way, I was in the Follies Bergere too for nine years. And we have more Follies alumni back here. And uh, I, love, I love moments in life that make circles like this. I'm so happy to be back in Las Vegas. For those of you that don't know, the last six months I've been living a very quiet life on my farm in Kentucky, surrounded by my dog and seven cats and some cows. I got my second shot on Friday and, and came right to Las Vegas to be here with you guys tonight. So I'm so happy to be back here. And Tommy was a great movie, and Margaret, but I can top that. When I was a teenager, for Christmas, I got a book. My girlfriend gave me this book uh, written by William Goldman, our greatest American screenwriter. And it was called Magic. And I read this book, and it was, it was a great book. And, and of course, I was crazy about magic, so it was an inspiring book to read. And then I heard they were making a movie of that book. And of course, when it came out, I went to see it. And that movie starred Anthony Hopkins and Ann Margaret. <laughs> So now that circle is complete. We're here meeting for the first time. So, so it's, and, and uh, thank you for coming here this evening. So, so and, and that's really what this, uh, why I'm here is, is completing a circle. And uh, I'll, I'll explain. Um, I, am just, I am just thrilled to be here to induct my oldest friend into the Hall of Fame. I first met Mac King at the Louisville Magic Club in our hometown of Louisville, Kentucky, when we were both 14 years old. Yes, 14 years old. Mac was a terrific magician back then. I was really into stage magic. Mac could do stage magic and close-up magic. In fact, I learned a lot of close-up magic from Mac. But the thing I remember about our first meeting at the Louisville Magic Club was Matt King made me laugh. And he's been making me laugh for 47 years. <laughs> and over the years, I have had a very unique perspective working with Mac when we were teenagers and seeing him grow. Over the years, I've, I've watched him literally grow into the world-class magician, entertainer, and artist that he is today. For the last 20 years, he has been headlining his own show at Harris Hotel. He has appeared on countless television shows, including David Letterman, The Donnie and Marie Show, Penn and Teller Foolis, and The World's Greatest Magic. The Academy of Magical Arts in Hollywood, California, has awarded him the coveted title of Magician of the Year. He has received so many accolades and awards, it would be impossible to name them all here in the allotted time. Let me just add one more accolade. Matt King is the finest stage magician working in the world today, period. Please join me in welcoming our newest member to the Hall of Fame, my oldest friend, Matt King, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> 